So my small group started reading through the book of Revelation a couple of weeks ago. If you've never read Revelation, you know that's an interesting journey. We got to chapter 1 and verse 8, and it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who was, who is, and who is to come, the Almighty. Of course, I, I love that verse, and I love what it tells us about God. He says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Now, those are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. So it's like him saying, I'm the A to Z. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm, I'm everything. But he goes beyond that. He doesn't just say, I'm the beginning to the end. He says, I am the one who was. The word was denotes endless, timeless existence and eternity past. I existed. I exist now, the one who is. And the one who is to come in the future, God will be there. He has no beginning or end, the Almighty One. I got thinking about that. God never changes. He has always existed. That's so different from everything else in this world, including us. A few days ago, I get up in the morning and I stumbled into the bathroom. I was waking up and I, I looked in the mirror and I thought, whoa, I think I've got less hair than I did a few years ago. Uh, I'm getting old, I'm changing, you're changing. Everything in this world is changing, is breaking down, except for God. The scripture tells us that he has eternality. That means that he is not bound by a succession of moments, but sees everything eternally in the present. That is incredibly important for us to understand, especially in these days of uncertainty in our world, in our country, and even in our churches. As we think about what is to come, we can know that not only has God always been there, not only is he here right now, but he is firmly in the grasp of what is going to come. Nothing surprises our God. Here's another thing I want you to bear in mind as you think about the eternality of God. Not only does nothing surprise him, but because God has a different perspective than we do, seeing all of time and eternity at once, he also has different priorities. We can look around and we say, oh man, that needs to happen right now. This needs to change. This world needs to go this direction. This cannot be happening right now. God looks at everything, all of eternity, and says, these are my priorities. My timing is different from yours. Isn't that what Isaiah meant in Isaiah 55 when he said of God, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways and thoughts are, are far above yours. My friends, as you go about your day today, rest in the knowledge that God in his eternality sees all, and though his priorities may be different from ours, his are always right.